Hi guys, this is Mama Sue, and I have got a very easy pair of earrings for you to make today. It's these little crystal earrings. Very simple to make. And that's not just me saying it, I've got my grandkids making them now. But look how cute those are. They're elegant, they're cute, you can make them as long as you want to, but uh, this one you're not going to make as long as you want to because I have, um, we're going to be making this one today. And all you're going to need is you're going to need one of these little wires that has a little round ball on the end. I bent mine accidentally, but that won't hurt it because I've got to put the beads on it and bend it anyway. And then you need one of these easy to use ear wires. And then you need your beads. You're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six of the purple ones, which we have right here. And then you're going to need uh, five of the small beads. I've got a little more because sometimes they don't fit the wire. You know, with those seed beads, they're all different sizes. I want to show you something, though. If, if you decide you'd rather go with the other kind of hoop, you can make one real easy. <clears throat> by uh, Let me get a pencil real quick. You can take a pencil and have that... See where the opening is on this? should be on this side right here where you can see it. That's the opening. The opening side you're going to put this way. No, the opening side you're going to put down. Put your thumb over it. The opening side you put down. You put your thumb on it and you just roll it around the stick. Oop, that, you got to hold on tight because I've got a heavy one here. Roll it around and you've got yourself an earring wire there. I mean, they're they're really simple to make if you want to just make a different kind. And then you can add extra beads and you can just like glue them into place. Put a little glue on there and then push your beads down on it. Works great. Works great every time. Like here's a little one. You could put two or three of these little ones on there if you wanted to. And, and that's how cute it would look. You know, now another thing people do Normally, they'll bend this part out a little bit. I don't like that bent out because it makes my earring stick out on my ear. So I like them done like this. This is my favorite way to do them, just so you know. And then I'll put a little bend right here on the end. Just like that. And there's your earring wire. Very easy to make. And if you do it with a post, you just got to make that little circle first. And that little circle is made with one of these. And all you'll do is grab a hold of the tip and you'll turn it and move your pliers. Turn it until you touch the other side. Then you'll grab it right where you touched and push forward. Then you'll have your little circle there. So that's how you do that. That's, these are real simple to make. But today we're using, we're using this wire. You know, now you can buy these wires. That's what I that's what I have here. You can buy these wires um, unbent, like I've got here. Um, this one I actually bought like that. I bought it in a pack, so you don't have to. But if you choose to, there you go. Now, because I have a ball on the end already, that's uh, this is a silver wire, uh, mind you. This is silver, so it's real soft. Um, so I'm going to start by putting one of the hard stones, the crystals, first. Then I'm going to put a bead and a crystal and a bead. Now I'm telling you, this is an easy earring to make. See? Then a bead, then a crystal, then a bead. Seed bead, actually, and a crystal. And how many did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then, oh yeah, I've got just about that out here. Now I'm going to get the last one on. That's how fast it is to make your earrings. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? 
very quick, very easy. And um, then on this, on this down here, now, now this is the tricky part, but it's, it's not a hard thing to do. You grab that, the tip down here, just like that, and you're just going to push that wire down, just like that. See what I did there? I just pushed that wire down. Then I'm going to move my pliers up to the top, but I'm going to bring it over some. I'm going to bring it over a little bit because I want a bigger circle on it. See there? Then I'm going to bring it back around the opposite way. Then I'm going to move my pliers because it didn't go all the way around, and I'm going to make sure it went all the way around. See, now it's gone all the way around. Now if I hold on to that and put it next to the other one, I want to make sure it's the same size. So I'm going to put these next to each other. And those are pretty close. I need to pull it in just a little bit more, so I'm just going to turn it right here. And then I'm going to just hang on to this. I'm going to pull that wire. I'll just pull it out where I can start winding it around and around to finish it off. But I'm going to hold on to it with my flat nose pliers because it's easier to hang on to it with that one. Then I'm just going to take my finger and start rolling it. The silver is pretty easy to roll. Now see how I'm just rolling that around? That's all I'm doing is twisting that little wire that's sticking up. And as you get around to the other side you might want to you might want to grab something and twist it the rest of the way. It's easier to do this with the, let me hold on to it with this one. See the flat part in here? That's what I'm hanging on to this with, but I need my flat nose pliers to get a hold of that wire and let, and finish twisting it around. And then I'm going to just squish down the extra piece because I really don't want to get rid, I don't want to cut off my silver. Silver's expensive. Well, I mean, it's more expensive than craft wire. But anyway, then I just squashed it around by going around it like this. I squashed it down. There you go. That is the end of that. Now, if I put these together, oh, they're, they're almost identical. They, I did a good job on that. And you want to take this. What's easy about this kind of an earring, all you have to do is put it right through your hoop like that. Then I overclose it like that. See how I've gone over a little bit? And then I pull it back up so that it stays closed real nicely. Now that's all there is to that earring. Just like that. Ha uh ha! -huh. Okay, and then, see, now we've got two earring, two pairs of earrings here. But just so that you remember how to make that ear wire, I'm going to make another one of these just to help you out here. A lot of people like that little bend. I didn't put the bend in this one. Hang on a second. I didn't put the bend in this one. I just put the... Now, make sure if you decide that you want... To put these little things on, you're going to want to put a little glue there, right there. Just a teeny bit, just to keep them in place, before you push them down. And then it'll stay nice for you. Now here's, now, now here's the one, I'm going to make one with a bend in it, because a lot of people like them with the bend in it. Not myself, but a lot of people do like the bend in it. That's why most of the time, most of my videos I show you with the bend. Now you're going to have to hang on to it here. You're just going to bend it just a little bit backwards. Just a little bit like, just like that. See how little I bent it? Then you'll want your pencil to go under the other side like this. Where the bend side is sticking upward toward you. And then bend it around. Just like that. Now if I pull that off. See, it's starting to look more like an earring right there. See that? Now, I'm going to cut off this little end because this was one with a little top on it, just so I can show you what I do next, which I already have shown you. And then I'm going to bend this up a little bit. I'm going to take that piece right there and just bend it 
slightly this way. Then it's just like the store pots. Just like that. I'll show you how to make the big ones before long. I just haven't had a chance. But there you go. You, and if you want to, you can put... Let me see. Let me grab a bead or two. You can take some little beads. Oh, let me grab this little array of beads here. And you can stick a bead or two on there. Or you can stick a silver one. Here's one of the ones that are that's already made. You know... This is an already made one. Oop, I can't get a hold of it. it. It normally comes with a spring on it. I can show some of my video, videos show you how to make that spring too. Now the spring's very easy to make. But see, you can put little beads on there, and you have different kinds of earrings. Let me see another one. Here's two beads. See there? Let me put that right there and show you this one right here. Well, that's the difference between the two. I, I, I prefer this kind because it doesn't make my ear look like the earring is sticking outward. This one makes your earring look lay flat on your ear. This one just kind of pokes out a little bit this way when you've got it on. So your earlobe is right about there. And I just don't like it like that, but... Uh, if your ears are like mine, you're going to want to switch to this style. And they're so easy to make, you might as well make them yourself. They're cheaper to buy, but when you make them yourself, you're going to get a nice big one, too. I like having the nice big ones, too. Anyway, that's what I got. I wanted to show you one of the easiest, this is one of the easiest pairs of earrings to make. Here's this set, and here's this set. Aren't those pretty? And they're so sparkly, too. You know, with these crystals. I love the crystal look. Okay, that's what I got for you today. And y'all have a great day. And God bless.